<laughs> There's so many. They just don't stop. Hello, my name is Chinchi. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to Grounded. At the moment, I'm just sitting here admiring all the work that has gone into building this place so far. I never see the back of the house, so I kind of just forgot that I needed to finish that. Anyways, I'm up here because I was building another zip line. I don't have enough web fiber to connect them, but I at least have the zip line set up. So when we go back, we can make some web fiber and then connect them. The whole reason I'm setting up this zip line is because in the beginning of today's episode, I want to go collect some pine cones. Now, the overall goal of today's episode, as we talked about in the last episode, is to take out the Termite King. And the last episode hasn't even been uploaded yet because for some reason, YouTube just decided, hey, I don't want to process your video. Um, so it's been processing for like 12 hours now. And for some reason, it just won't finish. But that's okay. Must press on. So while I was over here building this zip line, I keep hearing the moth, which is sitting right there. So I want to hop up there and at least peep it to add it to our collection. And there it is. Can't hide from me. They make the most adorable noise. Don't worry, moth. You're safe for today. So while I was building the zip line over here, I noticed this cave here. I wanted to run in there and explore it with you guys. However, I just saw a ladybird walk in here. But you know what? The ladybird wants to make this its grave, and so be it. Hello. I don't think so. Nope. You are in my way. I'm just saying. Get out of here. All right. So the milk molars problem. Oh, that's this cave. Okay. So yeah, the milk molars should be right up there. There we go. Get it down there. And that, that, that might be close enough. Oh, it rolled away. my fast shoes on still don't think i can make that jump oh i did it Ugh. let's go all right i'm gonna grab this can i make this jump from here probably not i'm gonna hit my head yeah no dang it all right let's try and make this jump again excellent now we should just be able to jump over here nice that was the easiest time I ever had doing this. So yeah, just just get you some some quick running shoes. Natural Explorer, you know, just go fast. Got a candy container here. Might as well grab all of this. So the pine cones, from what I remember, seem to be seem to be more towards the back of the map up here. A black ox beetle here. Let's see if we could just run right by him. Oh, another candy. You don't want this ant. Telling you. Well, I tried to tell you. Oh, this is a scary place. Don't want to head down that way just yet. We could climb that. There's a pine cone. All right, so let's grab our first pine cone. Four pieces. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see if I can hit three at once. Nope. All the sour candies. I have 40 of them right now. That's nuts. We're going to go ahead and climb this toolbox here. You're the Black Widow from here. Oh, come on. There we go. Got a milk molar over there. And this stuff. Gunpowder. Well, that's basically everything in the toolbox. I don't know if there's anything up there. It doesn't look like it. I now have more rust than I know what to do with. But we need to go get more pine cones. Which there should be some over that way. Oh. 
There's just a milk mower chilling down here. By this giant tire in the yard. Well, I say giant, but this normal sized tire. We're just really small. Oh god! <laughs> um, the black ox beetle has made its way to the lower yard. <laughs> Did he take damage from that fall? Probably not. I'm gonna leave you here. I hope you stay here forever. Actually, I can't. I'll deal with you some other time. This is where I come to get a lot of my stems. Wait! There's a ladybird down here too! How the heck did that happen? We're gonna go ahead and analyze these things we just got. Nothing. Alright. Love to see it. Fire ant helmet and a shield. Not too bad. And a flare. Yeah, I really didn't want to come back home. However, my inventory was full. I can't wait for the new update. Get a whole new slot. Speaking of new update. Um, in the last episode, I was talking about how I wish we had more color options in our lights. Well, apparently in the new update that'll be coming sometime soon, I hope, we will have a lot more color options for our lights. So I'll be able to turn those purple. That'll be amazing. So I really want to make this crossbow. That's the whole reason I got these pinecone pieces. But I need black ox parts. So it seems like that black ox beetle that found its way down here has already run out of time down here. Why is there a fire ant down here too? The heck is going on? Like, the whole upper yard is coming down here. Alright, buddy. I know it sucks. Oh, wait, I gotta get my good shoes on. Hang on! Alright, we're ready. Yeah, you just sit there. Oh, nope. Ow, oh, not the rock. I forgot my Thor's pendant. I really need to make my menus pause the game. I don't know why I haven't at this point. And you're dead. You only gave me one part? Ugh. How I feel about that. Ladybird, you are in my path. But well, you are gonna have to go. I don't think so, dude. Or dude it. Whichever you may be. Ow. Yeah, you just, you can't do it. I am more powerful than you will ever be. See you later. Alright, let's test our new zipline out. Right across the way. That's so much better than going all the way over there. That's for sure. Alright, black ox beetles. I need three more parts, please. Oh yeah, the one that was here is the one that literally chased me off the cliff. You done. Oh, there's one. Let me change my shoes. Alright. Whoa, buddy. Calm down with that. Oh, stop with the butt thing, man. Come on. There you go. You fell right into my trap. That's one more piece. Game really wants me to work for it, huh? So the whole reason I want the black ox crossbow is... Mostly just in case we need it in the termite hill, but also I want to get it upgraded a little bit because I, I think it might do enough damage to kill the scarabs in one hit if we come across them. Oh, come on. I could totally make this jump. Do I need my quick shoes? Sure do. I'm telling you, quick shoes are the way to go. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I did not realize there would be an infected spider up here. Definitely don't want to deal with that. Hello, you're over here on this side now. Or maybe you've been over... Oh, all right, ladybird. Let's go. And you're stunned. One, two, three, and you're done. Oh, black ox beetle. You come this way. Over here. There you go, buddy. And the ladybird larva still got involved. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. Just come over here. Come over here. Are you stuck? Oh my gosh, you're stuck, aren't you? No, you're not. Just being a drama queen. 
I don't think so. Um, I definitely would not have blocked that in time. Somehow you stop before you can hit me. Hey, stop throwing a temper tantrum. Ow. Get out of here. Now give me two pieces, please. Hello. No. Why do you gotta start with that? Huh? It's our first time meeting. Maybe the second time. I probably killed you last time. I think I did. Hey! Bro. You gotta quit. You goofball. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How do you like me now? Yo. You missed me this time. I don't think so. <laughs> Ow. And you're out of here. Oh, but you give me two when I only need one. Alright, I'm out of here. Guess I'll go ahead and collect these pinecone pieces while I'm here. Let's head home and make ourselves this crossbow. Oh, shit! Um, I don't know what happened there. I kind of, like, meant to get on the zipline, you know? But my character model did, like, a little bunny hop unexpectedly. That wasn't my fault, I swear. You know, at least it's not that bad. Black Ox Crossbow Craft. Thank you. Let's get this thing upgraded a little bit. Oh, I need more brittle. Mighty Globs. Do I want to go that far with it? I don't think so. Well, I have 14 sturdy whetstones, so I could possibly make at least five and just get it upgraded just that dip just that tiny bit more so we're gonna make our way over to the termite hill and i'm gonna make a little place to sleep to make a day and then we'll head on in while we're heading over there though i would just like to say the support that i've been receiving recently on this series has been mind boggling to me a couple days ago we hit like 50 subscribers and i was like oh wow that's awesome you know i can't wait to you know thank all you guys in a video and then here we are today and we're at 68 and it just kind of blows my mind i'm like what what's going on how did this happen and i know 68 doesn't seem like a lot but i mean for me i never really expected to be here i suppose in this position because one day i was like you know i love playing games but i'm tired of playing it by myself so i'm just gonna make videos and post them up so people could watch and and kind of just create a cozy little community you know so yeah i mean it really it it does blow my mind that we're at 68. So thank you so very much to every single one of you. All of you leaving comments and likes and everything. It really does mean a lot to me. So I was over there gathering stuff to make a bed to sleep through the night and realized I left my salty shard at home. And on my way back, I realized the house has Christmas lights. That's so cute. I love it so much. Anyways, I gotta go pick up my salty shard. I'm a dummy and my brain don't work half the time and by salty shard I mean my shiny salt crystal that allows me to deal salt damage now I was reminded in the comments that I can take the toxicology badge into the termite hill with me so that I don't get affected by their poofy attacks and I was like wow you're so smart I should totally do that but then I realized I have to have my shiny salt crystal on me because I took my rusty spear down the mighty path so in order to deal salt damage to the termites, I have to have that shard on me. And you're done. Alright, we got another one. Oh, termites are aware of your presence. Okay, well, that does not bode well for us because we're going to be killing a lot of termites in this place. Which just means they're probably more than likely going to want to raid us. Why are there so many of you out here? I'm just trying to get in. Like, that's all I want to do. I just want to get in. See you later. 
Now, the way that I have always done this, and I don't know why, is I come over on this side, and I jump in through here. I forgot my headlamp again. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm gonna remember it one of these days. Probably not anytime soon, though. But I'm not going back now. Oh, I have my bad shoes on. I have my quick shoes on. Hang on. Can you let me change my shoes, please? Stop chasing me. There we go. I mean, if you want to sit there, you can sit there. I asked for a moment to change my shoes, and you wouldn't give it to me. And now you're dead. You're both dead. And we got the javelin here. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. There's literally a ridiculous amount of termites inside this place. It's kind of crazy how many there are. They just don't stop. Okay, I'm gonna grab this science. That's probably not the smartest way to fight him, honestly. Because that's going to cost me a lot of my slushies. Look at this, they just don't stop. There's no end to them. It's insane. It's an aggressive termite infestation. Say that again. <laughs> There's so many. Should have brought some bombs. Well, I just spent like 15 minutes in here taking out termites, and I still don't believe they're all gone. All right. So down this way shall be the termite king, and I have never fought the termite king fairly. Um, if you're curious, if you aggro the, the Termite King and run up this way, he gets stuck right in here, and he can't attack you. You just sit here and shoot arrows at him all day. Unless they change that. Well, I mean, even if they change that, if you leave these spikes here, I mean, there's no way he could fit through here. So we do have to take out his minions before we attempt to fight him. I don't know how many there are, but we've killed two. Go ahead and peep them. I saw another minion down here. Come this way, please. To stop the termite army, cut off the head of the termite king. Here, a termite behind me. Yep. It's a wrong move, termite. I'm kind of just waiting to see if I see any more little termites running around down here. Oh yeah, there's one. So I do believe that's all his minions. And I hope there's enough light over there so y'all can see. Because I really want to use my shield during this fight. Because like I said, I have not fought the termite king fairly. Ever. So this will be a first time for me, so... Get blocked. Can we fight in this light, please? I have uh, people who, who are trying to watch over here. Thank you. Oh, get blocked again. How do you stun me every time you attack? Every time I block, I still get stunned. Oh, not that time. Oh, you do a lot of damage though. You're almost dead though. And you're done. That was, um, unsatisfyingly easy. Sorry, buddy. But here's our chip. Grab all the goodies.
So now we're going to go explore the rest of the termite hill because I think there's still some more stuff down here that we can grab. Some sturdy quartzite. Ooh, a milk mower. Nice. So we're up here on top of the wood pile. It literally just became night, so I don't know if I want to stay here and explore throughout the night because it's absolutely pitch black up here. But while we're here, we might as well, right? I see no reason not to. Just means I'll have to do a bit of lighting in post. This isn't a fight you want, Mosquito. I promise you. Oh, there you are, Wolf Spider. Thought I heard your feet. Don't the Wolf Spiders have a home somewhere around here? Um, that's not what was meant to happen. That kind of threw me off. You seem stuck, Mosquito. Do you need help? Well, here it is, and nobody's home. Well, I guess that means everything is free for the taking, huh? You're really still aggroed after all that? Okay, buddy, if you really want to go, then you can go. Oh, some more science. Where does this... Oh, some more upgrade materials. I was just about ready to say, hey, I think we got everything. So let's head home. But apparently we did not. Okay, I guess I'm beating you up with my hammer. Yep, it's happening. I've come this far. You done? Oh, this just goes here. Okay, okay. Yeah, that should be everything around here. Check back in this corner. Yeah, we got a little bit over here. Would you like to feel the wrath of my hammer as well? You sure would. And there you go. There you have it. So I do believe that's everything over here. Let's head home. Because my inventory is completely full. Again. Actually, while we're here, I can go ahead and scan some of these parts in. All the termite king parts. Nothing. Okay. Was the termite king supposed to give me something else? Was my inventory full and I just didn't pick it up? Was he supposed to drop his chompers or something? I don't know. I hope not. Y'all can let me know in the comments if, if I miss something. Although, if I did miss it, I'll see it in editing and then I'll slap myself on the forehead. There's a milk mower right below me. And I can't help myself. I gotta get it. Ah, burgle. I have a chip for you. Alright. Oh, he did, huh? huh? Okay. Nice. Thanks, burgle. It's good chatting with you. So, what does that give us? We can make a wizard hat candy st- Okay, well. Getting both of those. Oh, the black ox burger. That's what I want. We'll get that as well. Might be it for those for now. We have plenty of milk mowers. I guess not plenty since these cost four. Let's do, I guess, max health. And then I guess I'll do hunger and thirst drain. Since I have two, might as well. And for the Megas, I guess max consumable. Ready. I don't really care for the arrows. I don't use them that much anyway. So we'll save our last two so we can continue on with the max consumables. I'm so on edge running out here. Every little noise I heard, to me, it was the infected wolf spider. Even though I wasn't, I saw nothing. They were just noises. So we did not get the recipe for the sturdy whetstone and plating yet. Which is unfortunate. We also don't have the Supreme. That kind of hurts. What do we need to make these staffs? Mint glob, spicy glob, sour glob, and pond moss. That will not happen for a very long time. Fire ant mandibles, crow feathers, mint glob. I could probably make those. And what about the wizard hat? Oh, we can already craft that. Oh, do I use this for anything else? I don't know, but I'm using them now. <laughs> Can't stop me from being a wizard. So let's make some mint globs. I need my mints. I just realized I'd never even upgraded my crossbow again. There you go, buddy. Sorry about that. I just looked at my ovens and I was like, oh, hey, 
Here's, here's those mighty globs I was meant to use. We did, however, get a huge resupply on our resources, which is fantastic. I've got our mint globs cooking in the oven. However, that is where I'm going to call it for this episode. In the next episode, we will become wizards. I have no idea what we're going to get into, but it should be a grand old time. If you enjoyed today's episode, then you can leave a like to let me know. It really does help me out a lot. And I will leave the playlist to this series in the description below. And thank you all so much once again for all the support you've been showing me on this series. And with that, I will see you next time.